welcome back to South Park, The Stick of Truth. I'm your host, Sarah Bear, and let's get started. So last time we left off, we were the new kid in the neighborhood. Um, we had gotten some objectives to get people to come back to our house. This is, um, we're now in, oh god. Are you new? Hey, that means you don't know anything about me, huh? I forgot this kid was here. A druid crown. So we're back in the city of South Park. This is actually Clyde's house. I think we can go inside. Oh no, it's locked. Never mind. Um, but yeah, this is Clyde's house. Um, what I told you about this in with this house was true. So I, sorry, I did it off uh, when when I was not recording, um, just because I didn't want to have to censor it. So yeah, um, we're gonna encounter another one like that. I think this house right here. So just give me a minute, um, to cut this, essentially. Oh, boy. You looking for Craig? Oh, wait, no. Sorry, it's Craig's dad. My bad. About off the you better get to the other guys first. Yeah, so Craig... Craig's, uh... He's in detention. So I think... So yeah, it, it must be this house, then? Let me... Let me check. It's got Pete and Kelly. Um, so Kelly, there. This is way easier than talking anyway. I feel like you and I have a real connection. Clyde is banished from space and time, guys. <laughs> space and time, you guys. Nobody sit with him at lunch. I don't care what kind of fruit snacks he's sharing. I want you to know that I'm very sorry about Butters. Just in general. His parents are so mean to him. Oh, Poor Butters. Let's see. So where are we exactly? Oh, this is Kevin's house. Okay. So it must have been this greenhouse I was thinking of. All right. So yeah, we can go in Kevin's house. Kevin's house is safe. There's three. So I'll tell you right now. There's three houses in South Park that have these like weird scenes. Um, The one like I described earlier with the, the woman who's not wearing any clothing. Um, There's one with... There's one with a man, and then there's one with another man. Um, but, uh, yeah, I will be cutting those scenes out. Um, I feel like this game is raunchy enough. We don't really need to add that extra, extra stuff in. So, yeah. So, yeah, I can go into the bathroom here as per usual. Take that stuff. I don't think we can go in his parents' room. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. Give me the underpants. That's for a quest later. Obviously, because it keeps saying it's a quest item, but we haven't gotten the quest yet. Alright, so let's talk to Kevin. Greetings, human. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical <sighs> to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. <laughs> the captain is my mob. <laughs> go outside when she's at home. But the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's not a tricorder, it's my dad's iPad too. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that <laughs> device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. Okay, so essentially go find his dad's iPad which is near the church. All right. Oh, um... Okay, so this is a thing that we'll be dealing with later. Um, this, like, droid robotic thing. Looks like- it kind of looks like a webcam with antenna, honestly, in my opinion. But yeah, we'll be- we'll be dealing with that later. And, uh, I think this is the house I was thinking of. So I'm probably just gonna cut this. Yeah, yeah, that was the one, one of the houses I was thinking of. So we've done two. We have one left now. What? Butters. 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 Butters.
You gotta stand up for yourself. Oh no. Let's sneak behind the two cars here, or between the two cars. And we can break this and get this over here. Got fast travel to the school now. And then I'm gonna go up this way because you might have noticed briefly. Oh my god, butters, please. There's like rats here. Um, you can't like I mentioned before, you can't go past the rats. They uh they will hurt you. Not too bad, but like basically you can't you can't pass them without dying, essentially, so they really wanna like prevent you from going to certain areas until you're allowed to. Um, I think I know where his iPad is. It should be behind that tree to the right. Well, what the heck? I'm gonna get grounded anyway. Might as well. <laughs> Poor butters. Oh no. All right. Um. Do we have any? Stop dicking around. Shut up. Actually, you know what? Just for that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so yeah. By the way, you get a trophy for that. <laughs> When you throw your own crap at an enemy, you get a trophy. So like I said, I wasn't sure if trophies were going to show up. They do, thankfully, so that's nice. Let's just get rid of this guy. Annoying. Oh, he's armored now. Okay, couldn't block the first one, but I blocked the second one, I guess. Drink a cure potion to get rid of that. And, uh, I want to get rid of this kid. Stop it. You stop it! Stop trying to make me bleed. I got your back, yo. Piss off, boy. <laughs> Good lord. Now get out of here. So rude. Oh, I forgot. He's like... He swings slow, so it takes forever. Here you go, Butters. There you go, buddy. Oh, I forgot. He's armored. My bad. So we have to use... um, We have to use power attacks. Butters does power attacks automatically, so he can't do any of the normal stuff. Get out of here. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about um, uh, doing counters when enemies are armored, which you're going to meet a lot of those. A lot of the enemies that you fight in this game are going to have some kind of armor. It's very rare that they don't. Um, but yeah, when you do the counter, it only does one damage, so it's like, what? what is even the point of countering then? So we're going to take these. Where's the other... Where's that third elf? My blind- oh no, I got him, okay. Yeah, so here's the iPad. And then you can go into the church and kind of like look around for stuff. But we need to come back here later after we've talked to the father. The pastor. Um, just kind of exploring around here, showing off some different things. Oh wait, okay, we can't shoot that. This is where Jimmy gave me that noogie one time. We've been <sighs> getting reports of a bunny rabbit running around people's yards. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> um, you can talk to these guys, but they won't help you. Yeah, they like claim to be busy and stuff, but whatever, they're not. They're just lying, so you don't talk to them. Hello? That's so weird how it does that. I think that's the only one that's kind of like busted in this area. Um, so you can go over here. Come on a quieter day. I'll take you on a ride along. I'll be way more careful than I was with the last kid. Oh my hey god. Kid, find the key and bust me out of here. Romper stomper. You don't talk, huh? Me neither. That's why they won't let me out. <laughs> Drug addict over there. 
So we can actually get Romper Stomper as a friend. We just need to do some quick stuff up here. Oh. Okay. So just break some of these things. Also, you can probably see that there's a gym Pokemon up here. Rabbitek. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? No, I don't think so. Oh, I lied. My god, there's a bag of drugs over here. <laughs> Alright, so now, whoops. Now we just push this button here. That moves that over here so we can get the chest. Yay! We got bling. <laughs> Level 1 equipment. Alright, alright. Um, you can buy, like, snack stuff here at vending machines. So a lot of them will have, like, basic stuff. These mana potions we'll get into later. Um, but yeah, a lot of them just have, like, basic things. I'll get some more health potion, why not? And then... Gotta open these things, and then this is locked. So what you want to do here... Is hit that. Climb up here. Hit that. And now we're over here. Take all these things. And the jail cell key. So now we can let Romper Stomper out. Let me... Just kind of do this really quick. Because you can exit out of this way, obviously, from the emergency exit thing here. And then that lowers the gate, so you can come back up through this way. Oh! Santa up there on a laptop. Alright. Gotta remember that for later. But yeah, now we can let Romper Stomper out, because we got the key. But a funny thing happens when you do this. Listen to what the cop says when we do it. Well, it's Romper Stomper had a couple more years on his sentence. But you do have the key. <laughs> I like how he essentially is like, I could have swore he was supposed to be in jail, but I mean, you have the key. You let him out, I guess. So let's talk to him. Now finally I can go see a Disneyland and have him worry stuck in a prison in some kid's asshole. <laughs> yeah, he talks about seeing... He doesn't have to see Disneyland stuck in some kid's butt. Um, Butters kind of interrupted him by talking. Thanks for that, Butters. By the way, Butters is kind of a butthole in that it? sense. He like... He literally will just be like, yeah, you know, we're, th we got a job to do. We have a thing we have to do. What? Oh, what sad times these are. Yeah, the Priest Maxi. I forgot what his name was. Playing the games of Satan. Satan. Man, if you really want power, there's only one thing you must do. Find Jesus. Jesus. Find when you do, return to me. Okay. Give it back. Give so it now back. we can go back to the church. That's my Justin Bieber toy. Oh, no. Oh, did baby lose her toy? Who is this? Stop that. Be a kid if you know it's good for you. No. You guys are mean. The hammer of justice shall strike the nail of evil. You heard the cry come out of her too, didn't you? Yeah, so this is kind of nice that, like, they don't have any armor. They can't really do anything with that. Um. I think we want to get to the girl in the back. First. Actually, Butters has a good, yeah, Butters has this, um, what is it, Strike a Storm? No, Hammer of Storm, sorry. That hits enemies in a row, so we can hit this back row. You can hit the front row if you want, but there's only one person there, so we can hit this back row. Get out of here. Yeah, now they have armor, which is annoying, but... They're gonna die anyways. Take that. Well, I shouldn't say die. They run away. They don't die. 
Oh my god, Potters. <laughs> Stop! Yeah, maybe, I guess. Oh god. The toy. So yeah, we get friends with Annie. She's very cute. But uh, yeah, we, we need to do that for a thing later. Like, way later. Let's see what I mean. Let me get to it. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to talk to you. Just trying to move around you, but whatever. We got Snuckrat or Snuckat. My bad. Like Snake Cat. Poco Chimpoco. I think is when you get five Chimpokemon. I'll check in a minute. Oops, sorry, I keep doing that. Yeah, let me check our collectibles. Yeah, it's for five chin Pokemon. Okay. Let's talk to the mayor because she has a request Maybe for you us. Can help us with something. Sure. All homeless people in South Park are making us look like a cold and heartless town. Oh. If you could go and beat the crap out of all the oh. and vagrants, they'll leave town and it'll restore South Park's reputation as a compassionate That's... community. You gotta get every single one of those bastards, okay? Uh, chop, chop. That's not how that works. Ma'am, that's not how that works. We still have hobos, kid. Oh my Come god. Down. Okay, blah 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 blah. <laughs> that's not how that works. You can hit the kitties if you want, but why would you hit a kitty? This here is the marketplace. This is where heroes can come for adventuring gear, no jabs and abortions. Goddamn kids. Oh my god. So you can go in some of these areas. Um you can go down in the sewers, but let's do that later because you can't really go that far right now. I'm going to the post office. Oh. Uh, hold it down. And go back here, get this. We're also going to pick up this. Don't. Don't look at that too much. <laughs> You'll feel better. <laughs> Not looking at it too much. But, uh,. Yeah, we gotta give that to Mr. Slave. You know, it's it's just a it's a shake weight. It's fine. It's just a shake weight. Don't worry about it. That's that's why it was like shaking so much, obviously. It's a shake weight. That's butt braiding. Oh oops. Sorry, I forgot. I don't know. I think you have a nice nose. I'd worry more about your hair if I was you. Wow. Butters, that's kinda mean. Why would you say that? So I forgot. We have to talk to Barb Brady, because he will give us a thing. Well, hello. Are you interested in some rhinoplasty? Here's a brochure with all of Dr. Tom's rates. Oh, thanks. So we can't afford it right now, but we can... You do want to come back here and get a procedure later. And I'll explain that in a minute. I'm just going to sell this stuff. By the way, you do get... Some of the some of the achievements and like trophies that you get in this game completely contradict with one another. So selling junk actually gets you an achievement, but also keeping all of your stuff gets you an achievement as well. So basically just walking around with your pockets full um, will get you an achievement or trophy or whatever you want to call it. But other than that, um, if you sell stuff, you get money for it. So that's kind of why I do it. Um, we can buy some of these things if we want, but it will replace, um, our beauty mark that we originally had on. Uh, we can buy, we can buy some wigs here if we want. Side bang wig. Ginger wig. Suave's wig. Spoiled brat one. I know that's not what it said, but that's how I read it. Um... Let me see. I think our hair is okay the way that it is, honestly. Like, Butters is just Back mean. Again, I see. Let me oh, oops. That was an accident. Um, Back I forgot. Again, I see. Yes, yes, yes. So, the different procedures you have here. <laughs> this last one, which costs the most, is the Hasselhoff. You do want to come back. I think you get a trophy for getting this one, but... Back again, I, see. I forgot. Sorry. You want to actually buy something from um, Mrs. Marsh here because she will give you 
her, um, she'll, um, she'll become friends with you, essentially. Let's get, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just get a hairstyle, why not? Um, let's get this one. I'll add you to our email list. There we go. We do two for one special. Yeah, so Mrs. Marsh will become your friend when you buy something. Oh, wait, we can't go in there? I thought you could. We got the key, didn't we? Oh, you know what? It's a key for a different spot. It's the area over here. It's my bad. So you can come in here. I don't think you can talk to her. Oh my god, that's Chef. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, there's just, like, two things in here that you can get, and that's really about it. So let's keep going. Come in here, and then we'll go into the bank really quick. Okay, Sexual harassment. And, uh... Good to see you too, Butters. Thanks for checking in. Oh my god. Welcome to the Bank of South Park. Would you like to invest money with us today? So I don't... You shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it just just because. Wise move, young man, and a bold first step towards your financial future. We'll just take that money and employ significant leverage using computer-assisted high-frequency trading and index fund rebalancing to buy ahead of certain stock movements, and it's gone! And it's gone. So that's also, like, a common staple in... South Park. There's actually one episode where, like, I think it's, like, uh, there's a lot of people at the bank, like, trying to get loans and stuff, and they're, like, putting money in, and then they're just losing it immediately. So, yeah, that's, that's, like, a common joke Ooh, staple. Fetus, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm not one, but sure. Uh, you don't need to talk to her, and they won't let you back here unless you're a patient. Basically, I'll just tell you, if you talk to her, she says, Hi, did you get someone pregnant? That's really about it. Let's talk to this girl back here. Let's just keep this between us, okay? Because we're such, we're such good, good friends. friends. <laughs> Break that. Can't use it yet, though. Can go in the photo dojo, get some stuff. Oh, can't go back there just yet. Hey, you're pretty good looking, kid. You ever think about modeling? Oh, no. Oh my god. Okay, so we have... So we have, like, some of the, like, different references from different episodes. So there's, like, Stan's birthday at the top. Um, Butters with the, uh, the poop mustache. Uh, the heroes, the different, like, heroes. Um, the, the killer when he was, like, cutting off the, like, left hands and stuff. Stan when he was doing the Guitar Hero stuff with Kyle. Um, I forget what their names are. Our, I think the big kid was Mimsy, but those those two kids from the like the, from like the special ed camp, and then yeah, there's just a lot of there's just a lot of different references here that I I find kind of funny, kind of humorous. You need a montage. Everybody had a montage. So take this stuff. But yeah, Butters is gonna constantly remind you. About the things that you're supposed to be doing now when you just want to have fun and play the game. It's a little annoying in my opinion. Wow, why don't you not be a bitch? Ma'am? <laughs> Butters, what the heck? Alright, so you want to talk to this kid. Come play hide and seek with us. You're it. And now you gotta find the little kindergartners hiding around the town. I think you can actually fight her. Oh, oops. I didn't want to do that. And then... Well, I guess we could just go up here really quick. You can also see Ike there at the top of the, um... At the top of the boat. Look at the mast there. So let's just talk to him really quick. I am the pirate king! Yes, you are, little cutie. Alright. And then break this. Because I want to. 
All right, first kindergartner right here. He tried to steal my hidey spot, but I made him go away. Good job. Good job. Um, I forget. Yeah, this is mostly, this is also mostly just references. There's nothing in here to, like, collect or anything, but it's, like, you know, different references and stuff. Uh, talk to Mr. Slave in a minute, because if you guys remember from, what, about, like, 20 minutes ago or so, we picked up his, uh, pa his package at the post office. I almost said brackage, what? We picked up his, po his package from the post office. But I want to, like, raid his room really quick. Also, that's so cute that they have the Mr. Slave and, and a big gay owl um, embroidered pillows. That's cute. All right, so now we just talk to him. And he's going to give us that request. Thanks, kid. My night is looking a whole lot better now. Oh, never mind. If you ever need my help, you I forgot he just skips the dialogue. I don't want fights, though. I don't want to get a fissure. Come back and find me if you want to call me again. But give it a day. I go to a lot of parties. Okay, so basically, if you talk to him before you have the package in your inventory, he says like, oh, you know, can you do me a favor and go pick up this package from me from the, from the post office? They accidentally gave me uh, Mrs. Cartman's package, so I'm gonna go drop this off at her house, and you go get mine. So you go get it, and then he says, thanks for go getting it, and now we have summons available. Uh, like if you think I'm the fairest maiden in all the land. Serious, Prince <laughs> Seriously, Princess Kenny, you don't have to keep posting this. Um, I believe that's in our usable? Let's see. Yeah, so we have the Rawhide Whip. Summons Mr. Slave to share his inner self with a single enemy, removing them from combat completely. We will use that later. Do we have... Yes, we have a new perk. So let's see. I think I'm going to get the revive one now. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Did it again. Whoops. Yeah, let's get the revive one. I think that'll be helpful. Jump oh come on. Okay. Some kids gave me the worst pink belly over there one time. Oh my god, butters. Alright, so that's stuck, so we won't be able to do anything about that until later. And we got some little rats over here. Um, this is the last house that I was talking about that has a guy doing some, like, questionable stuff in there. So, yeah, I will just cover that off screen since we're kind of getting there on time. But yeah, you know, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, you know, thanks for just supporting me in general. I always appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>